Hi guys, I'm Heather Darnall and welcome back to my art channel. I want to say right off the bat, um, I totally apologize for all the obnoxious noise in the background. We are having our roof replaced, but I'll be honest with you, I didn't see, I didn't think that they would be here on a Saturday morning. But in hindsight, I'm glad that they are. It does need to be, it does need to be done, you know, as quickly as possible. But at least I had my morning coffee in peace. Ooh, I need that. Um, but anyway, so today I just thought I would wander back and have a little bit more fun doing some fluid art, just a little split base piece with some um, pinks and grays. I had a few extra leftover paints too. So let's see what we can get out of that. But before we get started, today's ministry snack comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses eight through nine. And it reads, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Well, at first, for somebody who's not very sure about our almighty God, um, that could be very easy to take out of context and be like, wow, is that not conceited or is that not conceited? Um, because that can sound like God boasting, but we only put that in the assumption of him boasting because we like to boast about ourselves. We like to say how awesome we are in so many things or so many ways and or how our ways are the best ways and how we like to take all the credit for all kinds of things because that's an, an unfortunate part of our human nature. But God is not human. God is all powerful. He's almighty and he is perfect and holy. So this isn't a, a boasting situation here. This is just a friendly reminder that, hey, because we are humans and we have limitations, he knows we are going to come to dead ends and you know, pitfalls and really just come to a point where we get confused, angry, frustrated, et cetera, et cetera. And he knows that we're going to be seeking for answers and solutions. And so what, what an awesome way for him to remind us that I have all those solutions. I have all those answers because my thoughts are higher than your thoughts, because the heavens are higher than the earth. And you can only get the bestest of the bestest through me by believing and having faith in me. I don't know about you guys, but when I come to a dead end, I want answers. I want the best solution. And that's when that takes some serious discipline. When you have to give your faith and trust over, just straight up hand it over to God and literally seek his face and he will reveal the answer or the solution. So if you're going to spend your energy thinking on how self-righteous this verse is, you're not going to get anywhere in your life. You're just going to be living in the same old rut and not getting anywhere in a way that God has planned for you or I, you know what I mean? He doesn't want us to only go so far. He wants us to go all the way. That's the potential he put in our heart. That's the love he put in there. It's all the good stuff. He wants us to utilize all of it because he gives us that strength. So again, don't take this as a self-righteous boasting moment here. Take this as an opportunity to see our high and mighty father who loves us so much that is just reminding us that he's acknowledging our human limitations, but he's also letting us know when you come to your limit, come to me and I will give you what you need. All right, guys, I don't know if I can stand another thump here. I just want to go to the table and just woosah. So let's get started.
All right, everybody, look at what I have here. A dried result, and I did put a little bit of gloss varnish on it too, which is that reflection there on the top. And I am just so pleased. I, I am in love. Boy, oh boy, I love this piece. I am not really a pink person. I'm more of like blues. But man, I'm so in love with this piece. And I have Rinska Downa to thank for the inspiration. She did a split base of pink and gray. I don't know, probably some time ago now, but I came across her video not that long ago, which like I said, gave me the inspiration to do this piece because I just so happened to have the metallic paints left over. And that's what she used in it. So it didn't leave me long thinking about what I wanted to do. <laughs> But anyways, let me bring you in for a close-up here. And I am just, these details, the, the, the contrast of the metallics is so awesome. I mean, look at the gold. And the way the light just really picks up on it is so pretty. All those little different details in there are just a good blend of all the colors. And something I was really, really happy about is that the iridescent graphite is really subtle. It's almost like a shadowing effect from behind. And I was super scared because I, I remember I went back to add more when I was starting the project and I thought to myself, oh man, that was probably not a good move. But now looking at it, I'm glad that I did because had I not done that, I don't think the graphite would have come through, period. So I'm super happy that it did not dominate the painting. Just loving all the details. And more so, I love how the edges here are really, really soft. And I think that's necessary because the center line with all the details are so, all the details are so concentrated that if the blowout, the blowout continued as far as they do on both sides, just as heavy, I think it would have just kind of, I don't know, been too busy or really just not that complimentary. So again, considering the concentration, the concentration of details in the middle, it's, I'm super happy that I kept tweaking it and blowing and blowing and blowing when I was doing it to get those um, edges soft. So yeah, again, oh my goodness, super happy. Absolutely love this piece. And let me know what you guys think about it too. And um, also, if you like the video, please, please, please hit like for me. Let me know. And that also tells YouTube that you want to see more of my videos. So if I know that, then I have a little more motivation and inspiration to continue to make these videos, you guys, because I love sharing my experience with you. And you know, just hearing some kind of feedback really, really helps me um, want to keep doing these because, like I said, I have so much fun painting. And being able to share my experiences with you, period, is just an honor. I'm just so glad you guys are even watching. It means a lot. But while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button, too, so that you'll see more videos and, of course, the notification button along with it. But... Uh, like I always say, remember to thank God for this opportunity and always paint from the soul. Until next time, see you later. Bye.